starting to notice there's a lot of sirens going off. A lot of people are going to jail. A lot of people are having freak accidents. There's a lot of people getting their karma. That should ring a bell there. You know? <clears throat> it's kind of like none of my business. But I'm starting to see that the ancestors and the universe and God is not playing no more with these people. Anybody who has had freak accidents, me and like, can't really explain it. But like I said, I'm hearing too much sirens going off. There's too many people getting sick. Too many people getting back up what they've done to others on this earth. So meaning that all, all the enemies are getting it. And the ancestors and God don't care how it happens to them, pretty much. It must be pretty bad. That means people are getting sick. When they always try to approach you, they get sick even if they try to come near you. Or they get sick by not knocking it off. Okay? They're starting to puke. Non-stop. It's because they know their time's up. Like I said, there's a lot of cars. A lot of people are having a lot of really weird things going on. It's because they wish death upon others behind people's backs. The enemies are getting sick. They're getting arrested. They're going to jail. They're turning gay. They're getting into fights and arguments. Just really bad things happening to people. So I'm pretty sure this is a weird sign that anybody who you know is getting sick, turning gay, getting sick, throwing up, or bad things happening to an enemies is because these people wanted somebody else dead. Meaning that they were working with people behind the scenes. Those are signs and synchronicities that people are getting their due. They know their time is up. They know their time is here of their a pardon. And the sirens means messages that can no longer be ignored. And I've noticed that. It's mainly people who try to wish death upon you. People who have done bad towards you. People who try to kill you. People who is trying to be a hitman. A spiritual hitman. It don't matter. Yeah, the ancestors and God is just fed up with people and they don't care. Like the ancestors don't care. They will send it out to others and not really give a damn who it hurts, who it goes to. Pretty much the energies are going back to where it needs to go back to. I'm going to finish that right but like I said, all these weird activities going on, people getting sick, trying to get close to you, or even trying to get near you, or even going by your home, it does not matter. There's like a weird radar <clears throat> going off big time that if there are people secretly on the down low, 
trying to hurt you and they try to get close to your home, it don't matter if it's like right down the road. Somewhere in the energy flow that these people keeps pushing it, they're going to end up on their deathbed. Deathbeds, eventually, if they don't knock it off, they do not heave the warnings. So, this is pretty, in my ear, just ringing like pretty much a quick ring and then stop. So, pretty much, the alarms have been going off. And this is actually really weird to say because I don't know where it came from. But I do remember on Halloween, I heard a gunshot go off. And then I heard the Purge song. That pretty much that... And then uh, the Founding Fathers. And then the Purge song started playing and then it turned off after that. The Founding Fathers. So I guess the ancestors are doing a purge. And there's people who can't figure it out of what is going on. It's because there's a lot of people who have done really a lot of dirty things to hurt people out here. This is way, this is way, that don't make any sense. Why'd I say that? Or maybe... This is the only way people are going to learn. I don't know where the heck that came from. Sorry about that. That was really odd to me. But, you know, just the more of the days I keep hearing crows, the more days I keep hearing the sirens going off, like ambulances, it don't matter. I'm even hearing a death whistle coming off of those alarms. There's mainly a death whistles going on. Now that's usually not a good sign. That means the death whistle usually means it's trying to put fear. It's meant to put fear into your enemies. Meaning that once people hear about a death whistle, they get intimidated. They feel threatened. It's because... Your enemies don't like that. Now, if you heard a death whistle before and it does not scare you, then that means you have ancestors who are scaring your enemies to make it clear to them that it's time to have backup. It's time to make people pay for what they've done. Now, for the people who... <clears throat> Whenever you try to share something about that, and a lot of people act really ridiculous knowing it's history, and they say, well, you're threatening, you're threatening, is because that scares your enemies. That's the whole point. And that's not really a very good, it's not really something to be enjoyed, enjoyable to hear. A death whistle is almost like a person screaming in agony. It's not very pleasant. Nobody nobody really likes to hear it. But for people who are so used to hearing it, it sounds like a death whistle. That's it. But to other people, it's really disturbing. And they will literally feel threatened by it. That's the whole point. So, like I said, there's like a lot of different like there's a trumpet there's a death whistle there's ambulances there are sirens like it's almost like you even got the purge <sighs> goodness gracious you got squeal of cars going off like i said these people have rang so many different alarms that people like pretty much like the enemies don't understand what they've done here. That's why people are not scared of this. This is why you're calm while your enemies are in fear mode. This is why your enemies are freaking out so freaking bad. It's because they can't relax. It's because they know their day is coming. And the problem is, is that you can feel their energy. 
Like, pretty much, if you have so many enemies, and a lot of people don't understand this, whenever you have enemies that are purposely coming after you from a past life to this lifetime, from the last life, anybody who comes at you, that is a spiritual echo. You are going, your ancestors are going to know who these people are. And who they got involved. Now, all these people's energies, who are enemies, who are making it clear to the ethers, like, echo, 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 guess what? And then your ancestors can track these people down. And that's over a lot of people. That's like over a thousand of people. This is why you got different alarms going off. This is why, this is why your enemies are acting really odd right now. This is why your enemies are scared. Uh, they talk about they're scared of death. They're scared. They're seeing things. They're saying that they've seen death. They've seen this. They've seen that. Well, and then plus another thing on top of that is the reasons why they're scared is because <laughs> pretty much you're a demon slayer. You pretty much cut off the head off their demon and you send it back to the, your enemies. That's actually what they're scared about. Is that you literally chop the head off the enemy's demons. You chop the head off and send it right back to them. And now they're freaked out that you have destroyed their demons. You can see them for who they are. You can see through their deception that they ain't shit. They're never going to be shit. They are petrified of you that you know they are also trying to spiritually put a hit out on you. And on the physical, too. Now, a lot of people do have to take self-responsibility. Because once judgment is out there, you cannot change it. No matter how hard you try. You know? There is a lot going on. <laughs> a lot. Meaning that, like, there were just people thinking that life was a game or thinking life was a joke. Well, now these people are turning gay. They're, they're having weird stuff happening to them and their families is because, uh... Your ancestors and God has had enough, pretty much. That's possibly the wrath. I believe this is this is not just God's wrath. It's not just your ancestors. I feel like this is a wrath where it's very, very dangerous that people can start actually dying in the physical and spiritual way. Because they've had enough. They're tired of the evil being on earth. This is a different type of wrath out here. This is this is not the normal wrath. Like I said, you got the you got the trumpet, you got the death whistle, you got sirens, you just got a whole bunch of different things going off at once. You even got the purge signal going off like trust me that uh the ancestors are ready to go to war the demons are ready to go to war and the angels are ready to go to war even even lilith is ready to go to war uh the devil is ready to go to war god's ready to go to war i'm telling you like a lot of people have really screwed up that I believe the reasons why your enemies are so scared of you is because they know they're going to be taken out. I can feel it in the energy flow. I can feel half the people getting nervous. They're getting sick. They don't feel like going anywhere. They feel like they're dying. They keep puking and they can't breathe. 
like I said, just a lot of people have done too much evil and then trying to get others in the mix. That's also that, too. They will know who is the main issue because it's an echo. Your enemies are getting it so bad that they're not going to survive this. That there's no mercy upon these people. They get what they get. And pretty much the ancestors don't care at this time. Karma is going to be served and most people will not be able to survive it. That's why, that's why some of the people are nervous, they're scared, they want to puke, is because they should have stayed in their place, they should have stayed in their lane, they should have not tried to kill you, they should have not tried to attack you, they should have never tried to make you a target, they should have never came after you in the first place. There's a lot of people regretting that. And I know energies will never lie. Like, as I'm talking about this right now, there's people's throats getting tingly where they want to puke right now. Their stomachs are so badly erupted that they know their day is coming. They know exactly what they've done to you. They know they've made you. They've made you have to survive out here. They know they've had others to help them trying to hurt you. Everything that you talk about, you are making your enemies sick. Everything that is being talked about is because they know you can hear it. They know you can hear their cries. They know that pretty much, they know you know that their day is coming. That's why their stomachs are upset. That's why their throats feel the way that they do. It's because they're getting nauseous of how you know this. It's scaring them. They're nervous. They don't know what to do. Half the time they're so paranoid where your enemies don't even want to go outside because they're scared of you or they're scared of something happening. And that's what happens in the energy flow. When you mess with a lot of people out here that did not deserve it or you're trying to do something in the dark of trying to hurt someone and not tell them, oh, trust me, people are going to pay for it and people will not be able to survive this spiritual purge. I promise you that. They won't. They will not survive it because... They have done this to so many people. They've done rituals. They have done a lot of things towards other people. They have done black magic too much. They have went towards other practitioners. They have done everything and anything under the full moon, especially around Halloween. There's just too many people who are going to die. There is a lot of people who are not going to be able to survive it. The death whistle has been going off like crazy. But like I said, the enemies knows they are screwed and they know they are fucked. And they know this. That's why you're not really hearing them talk. Like your enemies used to run their mouths, right? So much, right? Always talking crap, right? Now... They're not speaking anymore because they're scared that you're going to hear it. They're scared you're going to find out or they're scared somebody's going to come towards you and tell you what they say. Now they fully understand that you know how to do spiritual protection. You know how to cut emotional ties. You know how to emotionally... Get people out of your energy. That's what scares them. Because I believe what's really truthfully going on here. Is that if you cut off. And that's a, that's actually what's making them sick. Is that you know how to 
emotionally cut soul ties where it needs to go. You know how to banish people. And as I keep saying this, your enemy's throat and stomach wants to puke. They're burning up. Like they are mad is because once you actually know how to banish them out of your life, how to spiritually, how to protect yourself away from harm, to cut ties with them, how to get them out of your life, out of your energy, then guess what? They're not protected anymore. They have to get what they get do done. That's actually what these people are mad about. Is that you're not spiritually protecting them anymore since you know how to cut people out of your life. That's pretty much all that's going on at this time in the energy flow is how I'm understanding it. Is that you are knowing how to protect yourself. You are knowing how to banish people. You have cut off pretty much the demon's heads and sent it back to people. Their demons. That scared them half to death. That's probably why they want to puke. That's probably what they're mad about. Is that they don't like hearing that. When you know how to be a demon slayer. When you know how to cut people off. When you know how to banish people. When you have a shield protecting you. They want to get sick. It's because that is their energy. So since you know how to do this. You feel better. As an individual, your energy feels better. So that means when your shield is very strong out here, spiritually protected, you can feel normal again, meaning that you can tell the difference between your energy and their energy and your enemy's energy is scared. They're frustrated, they're mad, they're heated, they're hot. Because you're not protecting them no more. It's because they know, they know that you cut them out of their life. And now since you cut off the enemies out of your life, they are now getting the karma that they deserve back to them since you completely cut them off. Cut soul ties, cut a ties, get them out of your life. That's what's pretty much going on. And now they got a headache because they really don't like hearing this. That they have a headache so bad. It's almost like a really bad migraine where their head is about to explode. It's because they don't want to hear it because they know it to be true of what you did. Your enemies knows you cut them out now they're not protected that's what your enemies' heads are about to explode about they could be frustrated they could be screaming they could be trying to be in negativity but the reasons why their head hurts is because that's all the magic they try to do to you it's going back upon them that you could feel what they're going through now. As from how I'm understanding, energies will never lie here. Let's just say that a lot of people are doing what they need to do to spiritually protect themselves at this time. And I feel like somebody's touching my forehead. So I guess that's confirmation that, yeah. Pretty much you are protecting your crown chakra, your head. You are literally, you have a shield upon you that your enemies cannot touch. That your enemies are so mad at you from how spiritually strong that you are and your, how your faith is. That's pretty much it. They're just mad at you. is because now they have to deal with all their crap. So pretty much since you cut them off. Now they have to go through a lot of karma. That's going to be a couple of years too. That could be up to a very long time. On their part. From what they thought they were getting away with. Know that and understand that. The energy flows are very aggressive right now. 
your enemies are just aggressive is because they got to deal with their karma and they can't handle it and they know they're not going to survive. And then there's, there's your side. That's the reason why you're aggressive is because you're being aggressive of spiritually protecting yourself, your body, soul, and mind. You're actually getting aggressive to where, nope, get out of my body, stay out of my body. Nope, you are snip, snip, you're cut out of my life. I will banish you. I will slay your demons. Get away from me. And I heard a werewolf. What in the tar? Is that so much familiar? I know for a fact it wasn't just me. I don't know if that was caught on. I don't know if it was caught when I was talking. But that sounded like a warlock. Or sounded like a wolf. I'm not for sure. But that sounded like somebody got winded of breath and just died. That was really weird. But uh, just like I said, pay attention to the energy flow. Because the energy flow will tell you a lot. There's a lot of mayhem coming to people who try to do it to you is coming back on other people as well. Even their cliques of people. And that's what's actually making them mad. All right. But I think, I think this is all I got for right now. But just know that and understand that there's a lot of different emotions going on at this time. There's a lot of different energy flows. Just really pay a close attention and just know that evil is being taken out. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a lovely night.